Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. Um, something I've always wanted to do since starting this channel but haven't had the chance to do until today's video is go and explore an abandoned football stadium and yes that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, tonight I'm going to go and watch Macclesfield uh, play away at Ramsbottom and on the way to Ramsbottom from my house there is an abandoned football stadium so yeah should be a great bit of fun going and um, exploring this uh, this disused stadium. Um, I've seen a few videos about it and a few posts about it so yeah I thought why not go and check it out for myself and use it as a uh, opportunity to go do a bit of urban exploration something that i've always wanted to do like i say and i hope you guys enjoy the video too but yeah um looking forward to uh to this very different video let me know if you enjoy it and want to see more like this on the channel and yeah we'll see you guys when we get down there okay so i'm in the village here of earlwell vale which is um sort of near uh berry ram's bottom area and um yeah let's go find this abandoned football club just yet but looks like potentially disused rail station might still be in use in the right place just need to find the stadium okay so it turns out I was in the wrong place uh, I just spoke to a very helpful gentleman um, walking his dog with his wife um, and uh, he told me that the the stadium is in a uh, little village about a mile or so away from here called uh, Ewood Green so we're gonna drive up there and hopefully find the stadium this time Okay, so yeah, uh, I've heard about this, that the um, the land is still up for sale uh, with the uh, Farrow and Farrow estate letting agents, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, I believe now we are in the right place, but let's go have a look. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely it. You can see there the floodlights, the stand, goals there as well. And uh, what looks like over there, zoom in the old clubhouse. So yeah, let's go have a look. Uh, a bit of a closer look and I'll tell you a bit about the uh, what used to be the team that played here as well. Like as you can see there, uh, Stan Sports. Uh, like I said, I think this is probably the uh, an old clubhouse or something. Let's have a little walk around here. See if we can actually get into the uh, into the ground itself. Look, it's all, <laughs> all the graffiti there. Look at that, look at that, there's what happened there. Oh my God. That's creepy. <laughs> Do not want to go in there. But, um, yeah, all the graffiti there on the back of the old stand. This is really weird. Floodlights there. Uh, probably not going to stay here for too long. Because it is in broad daylight but it is actually creeping me out just a bit so yeah this is the uh, the old stand and uh, I should mention now uh, the club was called stand athletic 
um, one of the broken glass here. Yeah, it was called Stand Athletic. Formed, I believe, in 1964 and dissolved in 2009. Um, they played at this ground, I think it was only for just a couple of seasons. And uh, in that time, they played in the Northwest Counties League as well. Uh, the ground also did belong to, um, to Haslingdon SC as well, which is uh, a town not too far from here. But yeah, let's have a little bit more of a look around and, uh, and we'll get out of here because it is very creepy. Look at this here as well. Could have been an old turnstile or something maybe. Looks like the sort of right shape to be that, but yeah, who knows? does certainly look like an old turnstile. Look at this, so overgrown. Can't believe this is still, it's up for sale to be used again as a football field. I don't actually know when the last time a team played here was. It might have even been when the team, it probably was when the, uh, when the team moved out of here. What, what did I say before, in the 60s? Look, old gold post here. Very rusty. <laughs> but um, yeah, I can't believe that they're selling this to be used. Probably not just as a, a football stand. I imagine somebody could make use of this for maybe housing or something. But um, yeah, I don't think you could, <laughs> looking at it, uh, build a football team here now. As I try and avoid all the uh, dog poo around here and try not get stung by the nettles. Look at this. Don't know what this would have been either. Could that have been old dugouts possibly? Don't know. Yeah, maybe part of a stand that's not here anymore. We've got like, the floodlights there as well. Can't imagine they're <laughs> in any way near working condition. Walk a bit up here to the um, Again, what used to be another stand up here, just full of nettles and things I can probably hurt myself on. This here, old stand as well, possibly a terrace and uh, something behind here, some sort of area, I don't know. I actually have no idea what that would would have been, but yeah, more graffiti here. But yeah, it's absolutely fascinating, guys, um, coming and doing this. Do let me know down in the comments if you want me to come and try and do more um, abandoned stadium videos like this in the uh, in the future. But yeah, this has been it's been pretty cool. Oh look, didn't notice this before. Uh, tent there. Wasn't that. Did notice that before but um, let's wait till we get round to the stand again. Don't know if you can see it from here but somebody has graffitied BWFC. <laughs> what I'm assuming stands for Bolton Wanderers. Will was that you? Don't think it was but you'll be proud. There you go, BWFC. But Barry as well, we saw Barry run hashtag BWFC. God, loads of other graffiti here. Berkey boy, Alez, Ale, Ale, Ale. Crazy. Just give you one last look at this old building here. Like I said, probably a clubhouse or something is a bit scary because there's these holes in the wall here who knows you know people could be sleeping rough in there or whatever so i'm not even gonna I'll zoom in but i'm not even gonna bother going in there it's yeah a bit too much for me right i think that's all there is to see here but um yeah pretty interesting i uh, never done anything like this before. Don't know if I'll do anything like this again. If you do want to see more abandoned stadiums like this before, like I said before, let me know in the comments section uh, below 
If you have enjoyed, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. And yeah, do please let me know if you have enjoyed this video. Your opinions really do matter. And also if you do want to see, you know, there, there is other abandoned stadiums around here that I could be potentially brave enough to go to. Let me know if you want to see it and if you've enjoyed this bonus video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.